He kissed me, but the kiss was terrible, so I knew it wasn't going any further. He got desperate and basically begged me to have sex with him. Wow, I was mega turned off now and left. He texted me afterwards to say I was a terrible person and I wasted his time. Welcome to Mamwa. I'm Gordy Camp, your host, and this is the podcast that includes you into my most famous song lyrics. He's a middle-aged man with an attitude, and he didn't even have one till he met you. That's right, I'm the middle-aged man, and my attitude will chatter us through all things that I'm passionate about, from spirituality, the gym and fitness, food, traveling, and music or movies. Quick disclaimer, this list is not exhaustive. So you can get on or you can get off and join us for the episodes that you like the sounds of. Dip in or dip out, as long as you keep dipping. Either way, we've got something to say and we're going in three, two... Welcome to Mamwa, I'm Gordy Camp and I am your host. Solo travelling is an enriching and transformative experience. It can offer countless benefits to those of you who are embarking on that journey. While it might seem intimidating to travel alone, the rewards of solo traveling far outweigh any potential drawbacks. So in this episode, we will explore the positives of solo traveling with a focus on both pros and cons of being alone during that experience. Now, one of the most significant advantages of solo traveling is the sense of freedom and the independence that comes with it. So when you're traveling alone, you have the flexibility to plan your itinerary according to your preferences and interests. There is no need to compromise with anyone else and you can explore the world at your own pace. So this freedom lets you immerse yourself fully in local culture, experiences, uh, new destinations in a way that is actually truly authentic and meaningful to you. Now I've travelled alone for years, but a couple of years ago I went on a trip around Europe and I visited seven countries in two weeks. Now I have to say it's the best solo trip that I could have ever asked for. Solo travelling offers great opportunity for personal growth, self-discovery. When you're alone in a foreign country, you are forced to step out of your comfort zone and face new challenges. Now I know that can be daunting for some and it is also incredibly empowering. Solo travel pushes you to rely on your own skills and instincts, and it can also help you to develop confidence, resilience, and independence. You might discover hidden strengths and talents that you didn't even know you had. You'll return home with a newfound sense of self-assurance. It's so invigorating. Another benefit to solo traveling is the opportunity to meet new people, make meaningful connections. When you're alone, you're more likely to strike up conversations with locals, fellow travellers. You might even find people are more open to getting to know you when you're not part of a a larger group. So that can lead to lasting friendships, unique cultural exchanges that can enrich your whole travel experience. Solo travel also allows for greater flexibility in social interactions. You can choose to be as social or solitary as you wish. Now, I personally like my own space. So being an introvert when I'm traveling, I never had any conversations with strangers unless I was ordering food and drink or checking into accommodations. Two weeks, no conversations at all. I loved it. Solo traveling can definitely be a deeply reflective and introspective experience. When you're alone in a foreign land, you have the time and the space to contemplate both your thoughts and your emotions you can gain a deeper understanding of yourself. I found that solitude incredibly therapeutic and restorative. It allowed me to disconnect from distractions of everyday life, reconnect with my inner self. It can be a time for quiet contemplation, self-care and personal growth. However, despite the many advantages, solo traveling does have challenges and drawbacks. One of the main concerns for a lot of solo travelers is safety. So I've got a testimonial today from Norman, and Norman says, getting pickpocketed, but not in a sneaky fashion. Three guys walking in the opposite direction randomly started hitting my legs and knees, oh my God, causing me to buckle. When they stopped and walked off, I noticed my phone was missing, so I chased them back, after which they gave me the phone back and demanded 50 euros. The mistake they made was giving me the phone first, so I ran into the tourist areas. 
This was so scary and nothing ever happened like this to me before in Amsterdam. This was also my first solo experience and I was so angry with myself. This happened within the past week. Oh wow. However, it's not going to stop me from traveling. I'm glad to hear it, Norman. So we know traveling alone in unfamiliar environments can make you more vulnerable to accidents, thefts, other risks. It's really important to take precautions to ensure your safety, like staying in well-lit areas, keeping your belongings secure, and being aware of your surroundings at all times. Kelly got in touch with us to say, within an hour of arriving in Istanbul, I was drinking tea and smoking shisha on some guy's balcony. All right, his place was near my hotel, so I went there a few times during my stay. There was some sexual tension and flirtation. He kissed me, but the kiss was terrible, so I knew it wasn't going any further. He got desperate, and basically begged me to have sex with him. Wow, I was mega turned off now and left. He texted me afterwards to say I was a terrible person and I wasted his time. Don't worry, Kelly, we're with you. That night he texted me to let me know he found a woman to have sex with him and I said congrats. That's hilarious, but not at the same time. Kind of scary. Um, this certainly isn't a memory that I cherish. It's something I didn't tell anyone at home about. So for this reason, it is also a really good idea to share your itinerary with someone back home so that you can stay in touch regularly. Another downside of solo traveling is the potential for loneliness and isolation. I was fine on my trip, but traveling alone can be a lonely experience for some, especially if you are used to the company of friends and family. So it's important to be prepared for moments of solitude, to find ways to combat loneliness, such as joining group tours, maybe staying in social hostels or reaching out to other travelers online. It can also be really helpful to stay connected with loved ones back home through things like phone calls, video chats, social media. Solo traveling can be really expensive when it comes to traveling yourself instead of with a companion. When you're alone, you are responsible for covering all your expenses like accommodation, transport, meals, activities, and that can add up really quickly, especially if you're not sharing costs with somebody else. So it is important to budget carefully and look for ways to save money, such as staying in budget accommodation, cooking your own meals, using public transport. So a bit about my trip, I planned and organized everything by myself. I used cheap travel sites and I put in the time to book flights and accommodation all separately. My reason for that was travel companies on the group tours were thousands of pounds for like three or four different locations. I've got a bit of experience in booking travel, so I took the chance and reviewed the prices. Now, I saved almost £2,000 compared to these companies. I visited four more countries and th than what they were offering. I would 100% advise, if you can put some time into planning, you can save so much money on travel. Use that money on enjoying your actual trip to the fullest instead. But that's just my take on it. So as we finish up, we will say that solo traveling is a truly rewarding and enriching experience. It offers numerous benefits to those of you thinking of doing it. It allows for freedom, independence, personal growth, meaningful connections with other people. While there are challenges to traveling alone, however, such as safety concerns, loneliness, expenses, they can be mitigated with proper planning and preparation. I personally planned everything for around four or five weeks because I wanted to make sure there were no surprises at all on my trip. I wanted to minimize the risks of things going wrong. So the only concern I actually had on my trip were the chances of flights being canceled and that was it because I'd pre-planned everything else. I genuinely do feel guys that this helped me to stay calm and confident throughout the whole trip. I would say solo travel is a unique opportunity to explore the world on your terms. You can discover more about yourself and you can create unforgettable memories that will last a lifetime. One final testimonial, guys, from Alex this time. He said, when I went to Krakow, I took a tour of Auschwitz. Four of us ended up getting along on the bus ride there. So we took the tour together and then ended up going out for dinner after we got back. Very nice. It was real fun 
All things considered, a Canadian, a German, a Brit, and a Dane, or as we said, the American, the, the Austrian, the Scotsman, and the Swede, we walked around the old city until maybe midnight until I walked them all to their hostels and walked back to my Airbnb. It was only the only time I ever gone out of my way to socialize whilst I was alone with total strangers, and now I have some great pictures to look back on. There you go, guys, a positive experience. It's a journey worth taking. One that will leave you with a greater sense of confidence, resilience, and fulfillment. So guys, please do comment on the episode with your own experiences and advice. That could be so useful to other listeners and watchers too. Please do make sure you subscribe to the podcast and keep the conversation going by getting in touch on the Facebook page, Gordy Camp TV on Instagram, or threads at Gordy Camp. Until next time, if you are going on a trip, enjoy and please do look after yourself and others. Take care.